My name is Danielle DeCarl. I'm a PhD student in invertebrate zoology studying the evolution of leeches. Okay, what makes leeches different from other animals? Like oh yeah, there's a couple of things that we use to sort of like uh, classify leeches. So leeches are a type of segmented worm or annelid. They're really closely related to earthworms. Uh, they have a fixed number of segments in their body and they're characterized by having a sucker on both their front end and their back end. Uh, okay, should people be afraid of leeches? Mostly no. Uh, so for the most part leeches are not going to hurt you. They do suck blood, um, but there's no known diseases that leeches can transmit between people. So in that respect, they're not super scary. The only thing that you might want to be wary of is there are certain species of leeches. Now, none of them live in Canada, so we're safe. But there are certain species of leeches that are known for going inside of people. So sometimes they'll go up their noses, they'll go down their throats. There are pictures of leeches in people's eyeballs. And uh, in other places, you don't necessarily want leeches. I'll leave that up to your imagination. Okay. How do leeches move? They don't have a skeleton. Mm -hmm. So how do they move? Yeah, so they have a hydrostatic skeleton, which is basically a skeleton made of water. So there's, uh, they maintain the pressure in their bodies by just being full of fluid. And they move very much like, well, some of them move very differently. A lot of them swim. Um, some of them walk around kind of like an inchworm with using their front and back suckers. And others kind of burrow in the dirt like an earthworm. Hmm. What should you do if you get bit by a leech? The best thing to do is just to let it keep feeding on you until it's finished and it'll drop off by itself and it won't be a big deal. It might look a little bit scary because they have um, they've got compounds in their saliva called anticoagulants. They'll make sure that your blood doesn't clot like it normally would when you get cut and that will mean that you might bleed for a very long time. It's a little scary, but it won't hurt you, and you're not going to bleed enough that it's going to be dangerous. But some people are not comfortable leaving leeches on themselves. So what a lot of people will do is use salt or limes or even a lighter to get leeches off of them. That's not a great idea, because even though leeches can't transmit diseases between people, they do have lots of bacteria inside of them that can cause infections. And when you stress them out by using any of those things to get them off, then uh, they can sort of regurgitate or like vomit a little bit into you and you can get an infection, which is not, not nice. So if you have to get a leech off, the best thing to do is use a, like a credit card or your fingernail and get the edge right underneath its feeding end really okay. quickly. What, uh, what can you tell us about the North American medicinal leech? Ah, these the guys are really cool. So North American medicinal leeches, the scientific name is Macrobdella decora. They're really common in Ontario and in other parts of eastern Canada and the northeastern United States. And they're really neat uh, for a number of reasons. One of the cool things about them is um, you might have seen them if you've been camping, especially in Algonquin or any of those places around there. They have a dark green uh, back and a bright orange belly and their back has orange spots on it. And people think they might have evolved to look like the fire-bellied salamander that also lives in the same habitats. And they're toxic to their predators. 